Welcome to today update please subscribe and check notification box to get all breaking news alert. Washington, a federal judge has ordered the Defense Department not to block fast-track citizenship applications that it promised to about 2,000 foreign born U.S. Army Reserve soldiers under their enlistment contracts. The order Wednesday came in an ongoing lawsuit over the department's year-old effort to kill a program designed to attract foreign born military recruits who possess medical or language skills urgently needed in U.S. military operations. In exchange for serving, those recruits were promised a quicker road to citizenship. U.S. District Judge Ellen Huvel of Washington issued a rare preliminary injunction saying that while the lawsuit can move ahead, the government cannot in the meantime withhold a form that three named Army plaintiffs and other military members in similar situations need to start the vetting for citizenship. Huvel in her order also said that the members of the military in the lawsuit probably would succeed in proving the Pentagon's latest moves in the crackdown on immigrant recruits were arbitrary and capricious. Her decision granted provisional class action status to at least some affected U.S. service members and marked the first court ruling on the new policy, which has been challenged in lawsuits across the country. The court action came less than two weeks after Defense Secretary Jim Mattis said the military was taking steps to save the program, if it can be saved. Defense officials have restricted this fast-track citizenship program, citing the espionage potential posed by foreign born recruits. But advocates said the changes have deprived the military of urgently needed skills in ongoing conflicts, while putting the legal status of more than 1,000 recruits in jeopardy. In a 35-page opinion issued Wednesday, Huvel said new Pentagon provisions threatened to delay soldiers' citizenship applications by years, upending their lives, blocking their careers and potentially exposing them to deportation. The record shows that, Department of Defense, policy is causing irreparable harm to plaintiffs, Huvel wrote. Plaintiffs live in constant fear that they will lose their work or student visas, or be discharged, deported, and subject to harsh punishment in their country of origin for joining a foreign military. The Justice Department declined to comment, spokesman Evan O'Malley said Thursday. The plaintiffs, Balon Kirwa, Santhosh Halamath, and Dash Akhviswanathan, who have trained in the Army Reserve selected reserves since at least January, and their attorneys declined to comment because of pending litigation, said lead attorney Douglas Baruch. Huvel is set to hear arguments Friday morning for a similar injunction against the Pentagon by a separate group of about 500 foreign born reservists who earlier obtained military service certifications allowing them to apply for accelerated U.S. citizenship but whose applications faced new, open ended delays because of screening like into that required for top secret security clearance, according to court filings. At issue is a program in which the Pentagon until this year typically approved within one day requests for an N-426 form certifying the active duty or selected reserve status of qualified enlistees in the military accessions vital to the National Interest Program. The Mavni program since 2009 has allowed recruits with critically needed skills who agreed to eight years of military service to apply for citizenship when they begin training. But the advantage of that quick application process at enlistment was lost when the Pentagon on September 30 began requiring additional screening of program participants, citing national security concerns. In court filings, the Defense Department acknowledged that as recently as October 13, it had no formal written guidance on the meaning of honorable service required for the N-426 certification needed by service members as part of the citizenship application. But attorneys for the Defense and Justice Departments argued that the federal court could not review what they deemed an internal Pentagon decision. Huvel rejected what she called the curious argument that new Pentagon guidance was not subject to judicial review and required no explanation because no formal policy existed before. Huvel said the Pentagon's delays were not justified by any national security concerns because U.S. immigration authorities are holding all applications pending completion of military screening and that citizenship can be revoked if recruits are not honorably discharged. Revoked if recruits